Hey guys, welcome to today's foundation review. So today I'm gonna be trying the sample of Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter. I got this in my Sephora foundation pack that I talked about in yesterday's video. I'm gonna be using one of these shades. I'm gonna probably use either 185 or 235. I'm gonna look on Sephora and see which one is best for me. And then the others I'll be able to use down the road, like for a contour, I'll be able to use these. These I can lighten. I have the LA Colors Lightning um, Mix, which is excellent. I highly suggest it. They also have one, just on a little side note, they also have one, like a yellow one to make it warmer, a like terracotta color to make it um darker i think and a blue one to do something else i don't remember exactly what they're all for but they are amazing and i highly highly recommend it especially for those of you who have trouble picking your foundation shade online and don't feel like going and exchanging it i just think it's a great great addition to your makeup collection even the darker one too i usually always get darker foundation so this is a great one for me but if you're someone who always picks lighter foundations and I would definitely get the darker one or the one that makes it uh, more golden or more warmer. It depends on what your needs are, your undertone, etc. So back to Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be trying this today and I'm excited to see how it works. Yesterday I did the Makeup Revolution Ultra HD and just a side note on that, I loved it. It really stayed most it really stayed all day. I didn't do much. I mean, hey, we're in quarantine. What am I going to do? Um, but it stayed all day. I did rub my face a little bit and I didn't notice any breaking up. I didn't notice anything really happening with that. So I do like that foundation a lot. I will be using it. I probably will get it down the road. Not right now because I'm still waiting for my Dior face and body foundation. And I believe there's an and my um hourglass stick foundation which i am so excited for guys like if there is one foundation in my life that i wanted as a makeup fanatic and lover it has been the hourglass stick foundation literally everyone on youtube rants and raves about it and i've held off for so long but i finally bit the bullet and i'm gonna get it and i'm also maybe gonna get the stick highlighter i haven't really figured that out yet i may may not i'm not sure but I am going to try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face and then we will put this on together and we'll figure out if we like it or not. Okay, I adjusted the camera a little bit. I'm sorry if it looks different. I just wanted to give you a better view. So I looked on Sephora and I went through all the shades and I wrote down what they all are. Um, I'm probably only going to use this bottom row for contouring, but I'll go through um, the first few shades that I would use ever. Okay, so honestly, I would use this for concealer because foundation is great for concealer sometimes. So the one I would use for concealer is 105, which is very fair with warm yellow undertones. And I would also use 145, which is light with warm olive undertones. Now this is my, probably the one that I will be using, which is 185 light medium with neutral undertones. That's always my foundation shade. Then we have 235, which is medium with warm undertones, which I could use with the lightener. Then we have 255, which is medium with very warm undertones, which I could also use with the lightener. All of these bottom ones, I could also definitely use with the lightener. Um, but these three, I would say I could get away with contouring. And this, I would definitely have to use with the lightener and then maybe use it as contouring. Um, but let me just go through it in case anyone wants to know. 345 is tan with olive. 385 is tan deep with neutral, 445 is deep with neutral, 495 is very deep with cool, and 498 is very red with neutral. Very rich with neutral. Sorry, I forgot what R was. So that's very rich with neutral. So they have an excellent shade range. There's 50 shades, I believe. Yes, 50 brown, brown excuse me. It's quarantine, y'all. 50 boundary breaking shades, medium to full full coverage for all long wear, light as air. So that really is interesting to me because I used to be a full coverage whore. Like literally all my foundations are full coverage, full coverage whore right here. But lately I've been wanting to move a little bit more towards medium because I'm doing a lot of skincare, like so much skincare. I used to have like very bad acne and very oily skin. I'm doing so much skincare that my skin is honestly, I just picked a pimple don't pick pimples um I've been doing a lot of skincare and 
also side note that is a tremendous amount of what i've ordered from sephora during the vib sale so if you want to know my recommendations i'll throw in a few during this video but if you want to know more about skincare let me know and i'll do a whole video on it that hair clothes anything i mean i know i've only been in sweats but i do have really cute outfits so anyway um so what i was saying was i totally forgot what i was saying so i'm just gonna move on i'm gonna prime with the juno and co moonshine miracle cream today I haven't used this in a while and I've been wanting to check it out. I did before put, I moisturized this morning, but I did put a light layer of the Tatcha Silk Cannabis, just like super, super light, just to basically fill in the pores, even though I kind of did that backwards, but, and I might put in a little bit more of a pore filler in right now, but I'm a primer whore. If you watch me, you know I use like three primers every time. And sometimes I don't, it's never happened in a video because I wouldn't put that on YouTube, but sometimes it ends up that I get cakey or it peels when I don't put the right combination together and I'll have to start all over. But that's how you learn. That's how I learned my lessons is by doing that. So I'm actually going to take, because this is a very, very light um, pore filler. Like it's, it works really well, but it's like a very light consistency. The Haley's Refine, what is it called? Refine Prime. So it's a very silky texture. I'm just putting this all over. I put it in my forehead lines and my smile lines. Even though those are so bad lately, my smile lines. Every foundation I use, they crack and I can't take it. So this is where our skincare recommendation is going to come in. So I ordered um, the Peace Out the Peace Out skincare acne patches I have. I have used in the past. And I just ordered more. I ordered that and the Dark Spot combo pack because I don't get so many pimples. But after I get a pimple, you don't want to put an acne patch on because that's just going to dry you out even more. You want to put on a Dark Spot patch, which those are specifically for like healing pimple scars. So I got those, but I also got the micro needling patches, which I mean, they only have four stars, but I'm going to try it on my, either my smile lines or here. The only qualm I have with that is that it only comes with six and it says to use twice a week for two weeks to see results. So you can't do that on all the areas of your face that you have issues with. Like I have some lines here. I have some lines here that I want to get rid of here, here. Like you need to order like literally three packs to in order to do every area of your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one area of my face with the one pack. If it works, I will order more. Um, okay. I want to also get this brings me, I've been very into while I do that, I'm going to get this out while I talk. I mean, um, lately I've been very into like AHA, BHA, like all that stuff. So I can really like get my skin looking good. And I wanted to get the Glow Recipe Watermelon. It's a watermelon toner with BHA and it looked so freaking good. And I went to go on today because I've had my bag. I literally made six of four offers, if, orders. If you've been here, you know I've ordered six times already from the VIB sale. But I have my last order that I said I was going to order on the last day of the sale. And I've had it sitting there for, you know, maybe a, a week since my last order, which was probably actually four or five days ago. I'm so bad. Someone take my credit card away from me. Anyway, so I have um, I have had the bag there and today the watermelon toner I saw was gone. So I have the, what I have in my bag now, I'll let you know, is those patches for the micro and the acne patches. There's a marker from, um, I forgot the name of it, Lash Food or something, I believe. I forgot the name. If you want to know, let me know. But it's a, um, it's a pen that like help like a makeup fixer like it'll fix your lines on your wings which I desperately need um I also have the hourglass highlighter stick in there because I really want that but that's the only thing I'm debating on like I know it's an allure winner which is like really making me want to and it has five stars which is really really making me want to get it but also it you know, I'm getting the Milk Flex highlighter in the mail. So I'm like, do I really need another highlight? But then I'm like, this is a sale. It's not going to happen again. So I have like a good angel and a bad angel on my shoulders. And I have no idea what to do. So that's my dilemma that I've been going through. If you have any suggestions or if you've used the... Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm having so much trouble talking today. I don't know what my issue is. Um, if you have, actually I do know what my issue is, it's quarantine and I haven't been like really speaking to people like long, for a long length of time, 
for a very long time. So anyway, so if you have any recommendations or if you've used the Hourglass um, highlight stick, let me know. Um, and then I have a mini, so I did order in one of my orders, the NARS um, concealer in the pot. So that's the matte concealer. But then I've been wanting to order the um, NARS Creamy Radiant. And so I was going to get a mini, which is only $13. And I'm like, it's only $13. Should I just get it? So I'm going back and forth. Anyway, I'm so sorry I'm blabbing. This We're here for the foundation review, so let's get into it. Okay, this is a Fenty. Here it comes like this. And I'm going to use shade 185. I love how it like comes in these little things that you break off. It really makes it so easy to like put the ones that you don't want back in and just break off the one you want and you don't have to rip apart the whole thing and there's not, you know, foundation everywhere. Okay, so 185, let's take that. And what I really like about this is that yes, I'm using it today, but I feel like I'm not wasting it because I can use all these other colors a different day. Like when I go to work, I can use a different color and just, you know, mix it to make it my own. Like one of these, um, for when I go to work so because today I'm obviously going nowhere I'm going to CVS actually so I'm getting all done up for CVS I know I'm crazy um I'm going to CVS I need a new brow pencil so if you want to know about my brows I did my brows today and today I think is the day that they came out the best um I have been so I got my every day I've been doing my brows different like I never know how they're going to come out I never know you know what's going to look best so I have been like mixing it up, doing different things, different ways. So I think I finally got it down packed. So I had two brow pomades, a light and a dark, and then I have two pencils, a light and a dark. And then for special occasions, I have the brow flick. And then this is what lightens up my brows in the end, the Anastasia, because my brows, I dye my brows um, brown with the, I've done it on here. I dye my brows brown. I'm just gonna go in and put this foundation on while I'm talking. So I dye my brows brown and I um I don't it's hard for me to find the right color the right color um eyebrow eyebrow pencil. I was almost gonna call it an eyebrow stick. Oh Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. So um I didn't know this is a little bit light for me right now, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna go with it. I'll darken it up with foundy with bronzer and stuff. Um Okay, so I, so usually I use a color to, um, top, taupe, top, oh my god, I'm sorry if this video is a mess, I promise I'll do better next time, I guess it's just one of those days. So I usually use a color taupe, and um, because blonde is too light, and like the browns are too warm or too cool, it's like I have a very original color brow so I have to really just I make them into top to taupe so um that's what I do with that um so that yeah that's my brow routine but my brow pencil then I use a NYX brow pencil and a wet n wild brow pencil and then I use a Maybelline pomade and the benefit pomade I have like this whole crazy combo that I do like I said if you guys want to know if anyone wants to know more in depth just let me know. I would love to share it with you. It's just if I explain it right now, I'm going to be here for 18 years and no one wants to be here that long. Okay. So I'm putting the foundation on. It looks good. It really does. I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. I'm going to get a little bit more because I want a little more coverage just on the cheek area and maybe a little bit up there. They gave you really the perfect amount. They might have actually given you a little too much, but for me, it's the perfect amount. Okay. So I'm buffing this out, buffing this out. Um, I'm not going to do an eye look on camera today. I'm going to hop off and do it after. But I just, today is really for the foundation and any last minute Sephora recommendations that I have. Um, but like I said, the one product that has really like stood out to me out of everything I've gotten so far is the Hourglass Concealer. Like that honestly is the best concealer I've ever used. That's why I'm really looking forward to getting the stick foundation, the Hourglass Stick Foundation. But okay. So it's all rubbed in. I'm just gonna go over it with my sponge. 
this is really the order that I like to do it in. And this is dry. I use a dry Juno and Co sponge usually, and it works great. Because I'm not the type that will remember or get up to wet the sponge. It's just not in my DNA. Like, sometimes I do. And believe me, it works so much better. But I just don't remember. don't have the time to get up and run. Even though the bathroom is literally right there. I still don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm a lazy bitch. But anyway. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. Um, I think it looks really great. It's like an, it really is a medium coverage. It is matte. I don't love, love matte foundations, but you know, it, it'll do. If it's the right, let me change that. If it's the right matte foundation, I love it. If it's a matte foundation that makes me look super dry and cakey, I will not love it. So, um, okay. Here is the finished look. It looks great. I really love it. It's matte. It's drying down. Um, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then we will have a chat about this foundation. Okay, so I did the rest of my makeup and honestly, guys, I know you doesn't seem like that for you. But when people say, oh, my makeup took me two hours, I'm like, I don't know if I could do two hours. My makeup literally just took me two fucking hours. I was like really concentrating on my eyes. I like really wanted to create a cool yellow look. I even cut my fucking crease, which I never ever do. Um, and I use, <clears throat> excuse me, I use the Uh -huh Honey palette, which is one of my faves because I love yellow as a blonde. I feel like yellow just looks great on me. Um, all blondes actually, not just me. Um, not that conceited. Um, so I wanted to just show you my lashes and do my lips with you. I'm just putting on boy brow right now just to kind of make my brows look a little more feathery. Um, but yeah, my brows took me a long time today. My face took me a long time. It's crazy. And I'm going to do my lips. First, I, I just put my um, lashes on. So I'm going to just use, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Blackest Black. And I'm just pushing the lashes together. I literally just go in and push. I try not to get it on the actual lash. Unless I'm wearing like super crappy lashes. Like lashes from like the drugstore. Then I'll then I'll go in and I'll put it on both. But today I'm wearing Allura Lights from House of Lashes. Obviously what else would I wear? House of Lashes is my shit. Um, but I, I honestly, I just, I love these. I like the regular Allura. And I really like these. I find that these are more separated, so they look a little bit more fluffy. The other ones look a little bit more, like, exaggerated. I don't even know the right word that I want to use, but I like them both. But I like the Allure. The reason why I like the Allure light a little bit more is because you could see the eyeshadow more. And, like, if I'm putting work into doing my eyes, you better bet I want my lashes to be able to see that fucking shadow. So, anyway, I'm just trying to get this so that it stand up a little more. Because sometimes you'll get one lash that's a little bit lower and one that's up. And then you'll look like you have a wonky eye. And that's annoying. So, okay. There we go. So, I did my inner corner. I'll show you what I did because I want to put a little more. I did my inner corner using the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey. And I just put a little in there and a little in there. So for my eyes, I use the AHA Honey Palette, and I use this LA Colors Yellow Liner. And I made a stupid mistake, and I put black on the top. And whenever you put black on the top, it usually always transfers to your lower lash. So I had to go in with the Tarte Fake, um, the Tarte Fake Awake to kind of white it out. I tried with a makeup wipe, so I did this, and then I did this. And oops, it could look better, but this is the way it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to put some mascara on my lowers. And I'm using none other than the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. Because this is the best mascara. If I had like nice long lashes, I would not wear falsies all the time. And I would just use this mascara. Because it makes your lashes so like wispy. And like, in the, it's like the roller lash by Benefit like separates your lashes nicely. But it doesn't really give you any volume or any or a ton of length. This gives you wispiness. It doesn't sound a lot for volume, but it does give you length. 
So I would combine this mascara with like a Better Than Sex or the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara if I had good natural lashes. My natural lashes are shit. I have pretty good bottom lashes, but my top lashes, I did lash extensions like years and years ago. And ever since then, my lashes have never been the same. So you can see this lash is pointing more down. It looks like I have a wonky eye. So that pisses me off. See if I can get it to move. Okay, better. Okay, I'm gonna do lips and I'm gonna do my, um, where is that lip liner? I usually use, oh, here it is, the brown tart. It's the tardiest lip liner. I don't know. It's in baked. And you can really use any brown lip liner will work. And what I do is I overline the top. Any lip liner that's your skin color or like a little darker, like a contour color will work. And then I just pat it basically into my lips. It's like contouring your lips. So this is going to give the illusion that you have bigger, like plumpier lips. So I just do like the top and then I do down here. And down here I really like go ham and I really ease a lot. Because it's like contouring your lip with concealer. There we go. See, it looks poutier. That's what I like. Um, let me fix this. Sometimes I do the sides too. It depends on the day. I'm going to do it today just to show you guys. Um, okay, so I want to talk about the foundation because that's what we're all here for. The foundation is great. It's fucking phenomenal. It's a really nice matte foundation. And I actually used, I'm going to show you, I used 385 to contour. So I used, I think it was 135. I used a light medium for my face and then I contoured with the other shade. And I thought putting double foundation, like one on top of the other, would make it look super cakey. Sorry, I'm just fixing my hair. Would make it look super cakey because that's like two layers of foundation. But guys, it didn't. It looks fabulous. Like, look at that. It's not really accentuating my lines. I mean, I hate these forehead lines. I need Botox. It's not really accentuating any of my lines. I did around the chin too. I have a few breakouts there, but it just, it looks fabulous. Um, okay, so I highly recommend it. I think today is the last day. Yeah, today is the last day of the Sephora VIB sale. So if you're looking for a new foundation, the Fenty Pro Filter, get it. It's a good one. So now I'm taking Morphe Bamboo. And I'm just gonna basically go all over my lip. And then I'm patting it in. If you've never watched me before, I like a very like white, almost skin color lip. So I just want a base. So in case my lip color wears off, my lipstick, I have a base. This and, t and Twits are really good co uh, liner colors from Morphe. This is like a nude beige and Toots is like a pink beige. I'll show you. I put a little Toots in the middle. They're really so, so similar. But I got Toots to go with the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. Just like, I don't line my lips usually. I usually just do that brown trick and then I just put on lipstick. I really, very, very, very rarely line my lips because I think, I don't know, for me, I think it's pointless. I don't love it on me and whatever. So for the Kim KW, I got Toots and for Bamboo, I use um, Macadamia. And macadamia is one of my favorites because it's just like a, it's the same color as Bamboo. It's just like a very neutral color. And that's it. Okay, so I want to say thank you for watching me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you subscribed. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'm really trying to grow my channel. I love makeup and I really just, I love YouTube. I just want to share my thoughts and my makeup with you guys. And I just you know I love it if you have any suggestions or videos let me know I'm very down to you know interact and talk with you guys and I just I love it I got yellow liner on my mirror so on a mirror I have two mirrors here so I'm cleaning it 
this is my like lobe mirror when I have to do my lashes I look down here um but I just want to say thank you for subscribing if you did subscribe I really appreciate it um please come back I'm going to be doing more videos this week watch my old videos they're all good I have good recommendations in there for Sephora VIB if you want any skincare recommendations or you want to know my skincare routine just let me know um, I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys um other than that have a great day don't go crazy in quarantine um I just heard in the middle of this actually that all public schools are closed for the rest of the year so I don't know what that means for me because I'm a private nursery school teacher um so I'm not sure what that means but I will find out and when I do I will let you guys know if you care or not you will know so um who knows what's gonna happen it's a crazy time in the world it's really it's nuts to think that this would even happen let alone you know I don't know. I just, I have no words. That's basically what it is. I have no words because this is such a crazy thing that happened. No one could have ever predicted this or thought that something like this would happen. It's just, it's, it's crazy. So, okay. I'm going to stop blabbing. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll make another video tomorrow. I don't know. It's the weekend. Maybe I'll skip a day here or there. Um, I am going to tan this weekend. I think if you guys want a tanning video, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. Um, other than that, thank you for subscribing. Please, if you're here watching, give it a like and subscribe. It means so much to me. It shows me that you guys care about what I'm doing, even though I love what I'm doing. I love makeup. So, all right. Love you all who subscribed. Have a great day.